Hello, guys. Good evening. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Good evening. Right. Good evening yeah, because teacher. I was having some some problems with the connection, so I thought uh, you would probably were not going to hear me. But if you can hear me clearly, that's enough. Okay. So apparently today a lot of people were saying, muchos estuvieron diciendo, vea, no voy a ir pidiendo permiso. Is it because you didn't do the homework? Is it because of that? Ajá. Solo recibí como tres, vea, como tres o cuatro recibí, de ahí los demás se nos olvidó que teníamos que hacer. So today we are going to see what's going on. Even Anayansi, you didn't send me the picture. You forgot. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. You forgot to send me the picture. Del, del problema que tenía con la lección uno. Yes. Fíjese, teacher, que yo busqué su, su, <laughs> su número para compartírselo. Uh -huh. Pero no lo encontré. O sea, o no sé, no le entendí dónde tendría que haberse lo enviado. Yes, I mean through WhatsApp, through WhatsApp. So I would try to contact you today after the class. So tomorrow. ¿Cuál es su número? 7370. 7370. 7? 6736. So that's, that's. That's the one that is in the group, but you probably, you could, you were not be able to find me. So send me that picture, please, so I can try to fix that problem, okay? Please. Okay. So uh, thank you so much, guys, for being in the class, for being always on time. Uh, that's something really, really good because I'm taking some notes to see who is always on time, who is trying to be here to participate and things like that. Because, you know, this is a learning path. It is something... So we are here to learn, obviously. We are here to practice. We are here to do as much as we can to learn, okay? Because we are here to learn and to practice. Este es el tiempo que tenemos para practicar. So with that being said, guys, uh, do you remember that yesterday we left uh, some exercises? Do you remember that? Yes, so we're going to see how that, how was that, let me see. So, but before that, I would like to ask you some questions about the vocabulary to see what do you remember about what we saw yesterday. So I am going to start with, let me see, uh, with Mr. No. Let me see. With Ana Maria. Hello. I'm sorry, Ana Maria, you're number one today. So um, how do we say okay. Ana Maria? Um, oh my, sótano. Basement. Basement, very good. Um, let me see. Maria Luz de Nieto, hello. Hi, teacher. How do we say techo, Maria? I cannot hear you. Are you talking? Your microphone is off, so I cannot I cannot listen to what you're saying. No, I still. Sing. I'm sorry. Techo. How do we say that? You don't know? So, Brenda Elizabeth Villeda, how do we say techo? Roof. Are you sure? <laughs> Segura como pregunta de examen. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. 
Juliana oh. Gomez. Hello. How do we say chimenea, Juliana? I don't know. You don't know or you don't remember? Chimney. Chimney. I don't remember. I don't remember. Chimney. Chimney, Chimney Julian. All right. Chimney. Yes. Chimney. How Thanks. do we say um, Elvis? How do we say guardaropa? Guardaropa. Yeah. Guard. Yeah, I don't remember. But Sorry. but but it is something like that. You're close, like ninety percent. Word something. Word drop. That's exactly something. yes. That's exactly uh, what it is. Uh, Word drop. Uh, okay. Uh, Claudia Valencia. Hello. I'm sorry, Claudia. <laughs> hello. hello. So how do we say Claudia? Let me see. How do we say? Como le llamamos in Spanish? I'm sorry, guys. I will ask you this in Spanish. Como le llamamos a las oh, cojines? How do we say that? I'm sorry, never mind. Teacher, teacher. Yes. Sorry, dice Cicerón que tiene mala conexión Let me see. y que entra y lo saca del sistema. All right, so I will try to take notes on that. If she can connect later, so I will. We will see how we are going to fix that. But thank you for letting me know, Anna Jens. So, Claudia, do not look at the notebook. <laughs> do not look at the notebook. <laughs> so, how do we say? Aha, verdad? Si los quería agarrar a todos. Uh, so Sergio, I see that you raise your hand. I don't know. No, it's it's okay. It's okay. I know we're going to learn that. Sergio, I saw that you raise your hand. Do you want to participate? Probably he's not there. So Claudia, Janet. Let me ask you, how do we yeah. How do we say, um, let me see. Um, just let me see. This part of the house where you can, uh, where it, it's similar to, to a toilet, but it has some extra facilities. Similar a un inodoro. Solo que tiene otras cositas extras. Que... I'm not going to tell you that, but you know what I mean. Bidet. Mm. Eh, Bidet, yes, Bidet. Bidet. Yeah. Right. Okay, guys. I see that you're uh, that you're still having some struggles with the with the vocabulary, but it's okay. I know that you work probably during the day. I know that sometimes you are busy working during the day, and I know that this is the only time that you get to study. I completely understand that, but you know, uh, just try to practice, guys, some vocabulary. Okay. But I know that you're doing the, your best. I mean, se están esforzando, okay? I completely understand that. I have been in your situation as well. So it's okay. So, and we also had um, that it was a practice, an exercise that we, didn't, that we didn't finish yesterday. So we are going to see this today. I have been checking, guys. He estado revisando algunas de los que me enviaron. E there's some mistakes over there. Algunos eh, hicieron el match con palabras incorrectas. But we're going to try to figure that out today. So I will need any volunteer just to help me because I, I'm pretty sure that these images, estas imágenes, they are released, right? So I will request 
let me see Jose Manuel. Hello, sir. Hello. Can you tell me the answers for this part, part number one? All of them. Uh -huh. um, to ver. This one. Sería, um, ah, okay. okay. Eh, sería, es, um, si no me lo tengo ya acá, ya le digo, permítame. Um, flow, eh, flow, um, permítame, quiero ver. Room, room main, room main. For, for this one? Room main? No, I mean, for these images, for las imágenes, not the matching words. Esta de acá, no. Las images. So, Sergio, do you want to participate? I see that you raise your hand once again. Any volunteer, guys? Because we have to start with them. Okay, Ana Yancy, go ahead. Okay, teacher. Yo le puse in the living room. Okay, great. Yes, living room. Uh, and the bathroom. Bathroom, yes. And the bedroom. Bedroom, yes. And the dining room. Dining room. In the dining room. And the kitchen. <laughs> kitchen, yes. In the washing machine. Yes. Washing machine, yes. Uh, in the garage. Garage, yes. Uh, in the garden. Garden or patio, it's okay, both of them. So uh, now let me see. Uh, yes. Yo en la plataforma encontré que decía que era laundry room. Laundry? Lavado. Yeah, yeah, of course. Washing machine, eh, la van, washing machine es solo lavadora, pero laundry es lavandería, es el lugar, laundry room. Mm -hmm. okay. Es como cortado. So is, is yo, it, el teacher creo que tiene interferencia porque se escucha así como cortado, como que estuviera lloviendo. No, it's not raining, so... Can you please the other one, guys? Try to try to put or your microphone your microphone off, please, because there's kind of interference. Hello, the other ones. Can you please put your microphone off? Cerremos todos los micrófonos, por favor. All right, so now it's better. So there's kind of a, like interference or bad connection with someone over there. But okay, so now let's go to this part and I will need um, some help. So I will tell your name and you will get the order. Number one, Jonathan Cordova. Number two, Elvis. Number three, Juliana. Number four, Maria Luz de Nieto. Number five, Sheila. Number six, Elias. Number seven, Claudia Valencia. Number eight, Brenda Elizabeth Villar. So go ahead, guys. Number one, main floor. Main floor? Is that right? No, it's not. So what is the what is the right answer? Main Street. Main Street. So in this one, lo que nos puede confundir de esta es que tenemos varias opciones. We can say main floor, we can say main room, we can say main street. 
But in this one, according to, to what we May have, three. it's going to be main, main. So give me another Elvis. option. Say that, Elvis. Center. Gallery. Yeah. No, no, no. So we're going to go with number one still. Number one, it's number one. So if number one, nobody has an answer, let's go with number two then. So we're going to try to figure this out. Numero dos, number two. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear. There's kind of interference over there, so I cannot hear very well. Me too, sir. Now, city? City, yes. And the street? street? City, city street? No. This is... No. The, this is city center. City okay. center. Okay. Number three. Art gallery. Art gallery. Yes. Very good. Number four. Star street or car park. So which one do you decide? Car street or car park? So probably <laughs> car two. street. Is it okay if I say it's car street? Para, no. para ustedes estaría correcto si yo digo car street. So how would it be then? No. Car, car park. Car park. Yes, that will be the most closest one. So uh, number five. No. Four. Wrong ground. Wrong. Ground what? Ground room. Ground room. room. Ground. Yes, ground room. Okay, number six. Number six. Yo le había puesto room. I'm sorry, what 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 did you say? A la seis. A la seis le había puesto room. Sitting room. Es sentado, ¿no? La, el, el significado. Yes, yeah, sitting. Sí. Mm -hmm, yes, yeah, sitting, sentar. So I Puede see. ser table. Sitting table, sir. Sitting table. No, it's it's not no. sitting table because the one that we have for table is coffee table. Coffee table. Coffee este table. Iba a decir yo. Sitting floor. <laughs> so in Ew. this one, it can be either sitting room sitting or room. we can sitting say uh -huh. we can say also sitting floor. That's also available in some hotels in the States. Okay. So in yes. the last one. Okay. Alarm clock. Alarm, Alarm clock. clock. Okay. Alarm, yes. Alarm clock. Very good. Alarm clock. So this one, guys, we are not going to do it due to the time. Debido al tiempo, no la vamos a hacer, ¿verdad? But I encourage you to practice um, to practice this part of the vocabulary, okay? Because I see that we still have some problems. And today we have a very new topic. Today we have something completely different. Sé que tal vez algunos de ustedes ya lo han escuchado, but today we're going to see grammar. Ahora vamos a ver un poco de gramática, ¿verdad? So, okay. today we have, there is and there are, uh, do you know what there is and there are means? 
Do you know what they mean? Uh, there is a, a singular and there are plural. Yes. Yes. yes, but do you know what that means in Spanish or the use that we have? I. I, yes, I. I, pero no un I de dolor, sino I de haber, ¿verdad? All right. So, uh, so there is, uh, someone says there, there is, is the singular form and there are, is the plural form. So today we're going to try to find out the way that we have to use it. First of all, we're going to have some examples over here. And uh, let me see, Maria Luz de Nieto, have me reading this part, please. Yes. Yeah, okay. read it, read it. Uh, there, there is and there are. Mm -hmm. The expression there is, there are, are used to indicate that mm -hmm. sometimes exists or is in a certain lo location. Okay. Location. Yes, oh. like that. Very good. So it says, guys, basically that there is and there are, it is expression that we use to indicate that something exists. So the equal of there is and there are, that will be equals to something that exists or that is located in a certain location. So we have some general examples over there. The first one, it says, there is a cell phone on the table. As you can see it on the image, obviously there is something right there on the, top, on the table. So as you can see here, because there's only one thing over the table, we're using there is. But what about example number two? In example number two, we can see that we have more than one apple. We have like around 10 or eight. And here we're going to use a plural. There are apples on the table. So this is just for you to have the general idea of what there is and there are means. So here we have uh, the, simplest, the simplest way or the simplest way for you to understand how the we or how we are going to use this, there is and there are. In the affirmative form, guys, there is a pattern or an structure that you need to follow. Una estructura que tenemos que seguir, right? So uh, we have for the affirmative form, we have an example like there is a computer on the desk. Also, I need you to verify and to focus que también podemos utilizar articles such as a or n that we are going to learn that tomorrow. That's tomorrow's class. But it's important that you know a little bit before going to the main topic. So uh, the negative form is very, very simple, guys, because after, después del, del verbo to be, there is or there are, vamos a agregar la palabra not. Si, sí, no antes, not después del verbo to be. So we are going to say, there's not a pillow on the bed. Okay? So negative affirmative form, there is. Negative form, there is not. Or we can use some contractions like there isn't, right? Or there aren't. Those are the contractions that we can use. ¿Qué pasa con la interrogative form? Con la forma interrogativa. What do we do? Very simple. Solo cambiamos. We just, we only change el verbo to be at the beginning and then the word there. And obviously at the end, the question mark. El signo de interrogación, right? So we just change the verb be at the beginning and then the whole sentence will remain the same. So, for example, we have, is there a park there? Or I could say, are there some parks there? 
Yes. So depending on what you're using, if you're using there is or there are, that's the way you are going to change it. All right. So keep that in mind. This is just general information for you to pay attention or to try to understand what we're saying or talking about. So here we have uh, more detailed information and uh, affirmative form with there are. So Claudia Jeanette, can you please help me reading the affirmative and negative form, please? Okay. There are affirmative form. There are three, three shares in the classroom. Mm -hmm. Negative form, there are not orange in the fridge. All right. In form, mm -hmm. are right. there two smartphones? All right, very good. So as you can see, guys, with there are, con there are, podemos utilizar los números. A partir de dos cosas o más, vamos a tener que utilizar there are. Si es solo una, there is. Singular, right? There is. So here we have there are three chairs in the classroom. Okay. In la forma negativa, we can say there are not oranges in the fridge. The negative form, guys, in la forma negativa, we can use contractions and we cannot use contractions. It is up to you. But most of the time, Americans, they like using contractions, most of the time. So it's very important that you know, or, or is the easiest way for them to speak because it's faster, right? Es más rápido para ellos. So you can say there are not, or you can say there aren't. Okay. There are not or there aren't. Both of them are correct. Also, es muy importante que también sepan que podemos crear eh, preguntas negativas. How do we do that? Very easy. For example, if I say, there. Exactly. Like if I say, aren't there? Oh, let me see. Aren't there? Aren't there? Two smartphones. Smartphones. Yeah, like that. So, ¿qué es lo que hacemos in the negative? We just change. Solo ponemos la negativa at the beginning, and then the sentence will still be the same. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre una interrogativa positiva y una interrogativa negativa? Obviously, siempre cambia el significado. Porque si yo te digo, are there two smartphones? I tell you, I'm telling you, I'm sorry. Hay dos eh, como teléfonos inteligentes. Hay dos. O si yo te digo, no hay dos teléfonos oh, inteligentes. Yes. It changes, right? So it's very important that you know both ways. A positive or affirmative and negative questions. Because both of them are correct and some people use them. So it's very important that you know how to create how to create them or how to form them. All right. So let's move on. And here we have what I was saying, the contraction, right? In there is podemos we can contract two different things. We can contract there with the verb be, there is. Podemos contractar esas dos formas y podemos decir there's. O yo contracto el verbo to be más la palabra not. That it will be something like this. Like isn't. Isn't. Like that. But with an accent, right? Un acento. So, it will be like this. Yo puedo contractar there con el verbo to be o puedo contractar el verbo to be con la palabra not. So I can say there's or I can say there isn't. Both of them are going to be correct. Example, there's a good song on the radio. You see, it's easier. Es más fácil when we use contractions. 
So that's why Americans, they love using contractions most of the time. Also, Richard, uh, yes. Can you, can you write again the contraction to isn't? Yes. Please. Yes, to give, just give me a moment. I will change that. I will stop sharing because I want to. Yeah, just give me a moment because I will change okay. the, the keyboard. Okay. All right. Okay, got it here. So uh, this is the contraction. Let me put it right here. Isn't. Oh, I'm sorry. Isn't. Like that. Ah, okay. Isn't. Thank you, sir. All right. So something that we cannot do, algo que no podemos hacer es contractar there are. Si podemos contractar are with the word not. Pero no podemos hacer lo mismo que hicimos aquí con theirs. No, no podemos decir there, no, right? So we are going to say there are. No contractions for that part. But we can make a contraction of the verb be and the word not. Y podemos decir there aren't. Yes, that's pretty much it. So um, an example, there are nine cats on the roof. All right, so it's not that complicated, guys. But if you have any question along the, the slides, please let me know so we can try to resolve that. Si se quedan con dudas, please ask the question. No se queden con las dudas, vea. Ninguna pregunta es fuera de sentido. So we're here to learn. And if you don't understand something, ask. Here we have like a more detailed information. Like as I was saying in the, at the beginning, we can, we can use this form, these three forms, the articles or quantifiers. We can use a or and. La diferencia es que a lo vemos, we're going to use that when the word that follows that, it starts with a consonant and we're going to use and when the word that follows starts with a vowel. And obviously wow. this is going to be for the plurals. But that information, I will give it to you later on because we are going to have a class where I am going to explain you a very detailed information or the usage that you will have with these three um, articles, okay? So now this is just general information that goes along with, um, with there is and there are, okay? So, uh, as you can see here, we have also the contractions. I will need your help, uh, Elvis, please, if you don't mind. This part of there is, all of it, please. There is a computer. Mm -hmm. There is, there's an exercise bike. Very good. So, Anna Yancy, yes. the part of there are, please. Al teacher, perdón. This, this part, there are parts. They are some DVDs. There are some DVDs. Okay, Juliana, the part of the, of the questions, this part in yellow, all of it. Is there a telescope? Mm -hmm. Are there any bedrooms? Okay, um, it's very important, guys. Once again, que hagamos la entonación, verdad, de la pregunta. Because if you say, is there a telescope? Is there a telescope? That makes a little difference, but it's also important when it comes to the intonation. So is there a telescope? Are there any bedrooms? So, the short answers, las respuestas cortas que vamos a dar a las preguntas siempre van a ser yes, there is, yes, there are, or we can say no, there isn't, or no, there is not, no, there aren't, or no, 
there are not. You decide whether to use a contraction or not. Uh, Carlos Guevara, help me with this part on red. With the negative ones, please. There is a computer. There aren't any. There aren't beds. There aren't any beds. Okay. Any beds. Any beds. Perdón. Very good. So, any questions so far, guys? So far, so good. Todo, um, todo bien hasta el momento. Yes, right? Yes, sir. All right. Cool. Yeah. So, this is the, the whole information. Esto es todo lo que acabamos de ver en resumen. So, as you can see, number one, affirmative. ¿Qué es lo que tenemos en las afirmativas? There is plus a singular noun. There are plus a plural noun. There is también se puede utilizar con uncountable nouns. Que todo eso lo vamos a ver as well. So, vamos a llevar una secuencia so you can understand what I'm talking about. So now, for el momento, just focus on the there is and there are part. Because during the time, we're going to be learning all the extra details that you can see right there. But it's very important that before going to the main topic, you know what, or you have an idea what's that about. So we have right here, uh, I will need another volunteer. Someone that would like to participate, guys. If you want to participate, say me, because sometimes I see a lot of people, so I don't know who wants to participate and who does not. So Lisette, I see that you raise your hand. So please help me reading these three examples that we have right here. And there is a book on the desk. Mm -hmm. There are books on the desk. Mm -hmm. There is some milk. Hey, me tapa la pantalla, no sé qué dice ahí. <laughs> in the fridge. Ah, uh, in the fridge. Okay. Uh, para que entendamos, chicos. Acá lo que vemos in the affirmative son fórmulas. Si nos dice acá, primero, there is, más un... Sustantivo singular, acá tenemos el ejemplo. Tenemos there is y luego el sustantivo singular sería book. Number two, tenemos el there are que lo vamos a utilizar con plurales. Tenemos there are y después tenemos books. Si se fijan, ya lo modificamos. We add the letter S, agregamos la letra S y se hizo plural. So, Vamos a utilizar there is con sustantivos incontables. ¿Qué significa eso? For example, ¿puedo contar el agua si yo digo en general? En español posiblemente yo la puedo contar, right? Porque en español it changes. Es algo diferente. It's something different. But in English, water is uncountable now. En inglés, el agua se toma como incontable. Why? Because there might be some glasses or there might be a lot of water, right? So la fórmula dice there is plus an uncountable noun. Y aquí tenemos there is, tenemos la palabra some que es un uh, quantifier in this case y tenemos el uncountable noun que en este caso sería la leche. Por favor, ya tuve la experiencia with another groups that they estaban, ten, estaban pensando en español. Y cuando les preguntaban, ok, ¿el chocolate puede ser contable o incontable? En español nosotros podemos entender que el chocolate es contable, right? Porque podemos que un chocolate, dos chocolates, tres. But in English, not. So it's very important, guys, that we focus on English and we we'll leave, que tratemos de dejar de pensar en what we know in Spanish, okay? Because if not, that is going to make 
a big mess oh, no. around this northern, and we're going to get a little bit lost. So, de nuevo, here we have uh, some patterns, some structures, estructuras, or formulas, and we have some examples right here. So, any volunteer, guys? Yo. <clears throat> who, is, who is Yo? <laughs> Elia. All right, Elias, go ahead. So help me reading these three examples, please. There isn't a pen on the table. Mm -hmm. There aren't any pens here. Mm -hmm. There isn't any juice in the fridge. All right. So there isn't any juice in the fridge. Uh, mm -hmm. All right. All, All right. right. So if you can see right here, the, the formula says, La formula dice, there isn't plus a singular noun. Y aquí lo tenemos. There isn't in pen. Luego dice, there aren't plus a plural noun. So here we have, there aren't pens in plural. And then we can also use, there isn't plus un sustantivo incontable. All right. En este caso, jugo, juice, right? So, as we can see here, como podemos ver en las preguntas, aquí les explica detalladamente qué es lo que hacemos. Tenemos la oración arriba que dice, there is a cat on the chair. Esta misma question, I can change it, uh, I'm sorry. Esta misma oración, I can change it to a question, fácil. Muevo el is adelante, luego el there, y luego la mismo que ya tenía en la oración, y at the end, Question mark. Very, very simple. So, is there any questions so far? No? No question. Okay. No question. In this case, también podemos utilizar how many para there is and there are. ¿Cómo va a ser eso? As the formula says over here, we use how many plus a plural noun plus are there. And en este, en este caso, cuando utilizamos how many, siempre vamos a utilizar la forma plural. Right? Y como ya sabemos que el plural es are or there are, Siempre vamos a utilizar este. Examples. How many students are there in your class? ¿Cuántos estudiantes hay en la clase? How many days are there in February? ¿Cuántos días hay en febrero? So, remember. La forma básica de crear preguntas. It's very simple. Solo cambiamos al... El to be al inicio y luego there y todo lo demás sigue igual. Or we can have option number two to use how many y luego un plural noun y luego are there. Okay, we have two options. And here we have the same contractions that we already know. There's, there is, there's not, there's not, there is not, there isn't, there is not, there aren't, there are not. So this is the very brief or detailed information that you need to know in order to understand about there is and there are. So with that being said, guys, this is not a very complicated topic and I understand that it's very, very simple. Uh, but sometimes there might be some confusions or probably something that we didn't uh, that we didn't understand that well. So I want to ask you, is there any questions so far? If there is no questions, we are going to go to the main practice. Okay, that's right for me. It's okay, no questions? It's okay. No All right. Perfect. So 
today's practice is going to be more. Ahora sí vamos a practicar bastante. Because I want to see if you're capable enough to understand where to use there is and where to use there are. So I want to verify that. That's why we're going to have a lot of practice. Do not worry if you don't finish the exercises today. We still have time for tomorrow and we will try to resolve all the exercises. But if you can finish those exercises today, that will be fantastic, all right? But if you cannot, don't worry about it. We're going to resolve that later on. So is this the first one done? Yes, can I move to number two? Can I? Yes. All right. Yes, yes. This is number two. Bless you, Claudia. Yes, teacher. All yes. right, cool. Number three. All right, and this is the last one. Yo no le pude tomar el anterior, perdón. All right. But I see that some of you or your classmates yeah, are, yeah. all right, cool. Yeah. And this is the last one. Yes. All right. Are we done? Done. Yes. Perfect. Yes, teacher. So yes, teacher. Let, let's go now. We have a 12 minutes, guys. 12 minutes to work on this part. Try to resolve as much as you can today. If you cannot complete them all, as I said at the beginning, don't worry. We still have time for tomorrow that we can work on that. But if you can do it all today, that will be fantastic, okay? So go ahead, please, guys, join your rooms. I will be checking all of them to see if you have questions.
Vale, entonces meter sería, a... is there. Is Vamos, there. Porque es compañero, una compañero, hay que enumerar cada laguna para que no nos vayamos a confundir. Ah, ok. Vale, entonces Ajá. la uno es is there porque está en eh, signo de interrogación. Es is there. Is there. Ah, cabal, is there. sí. Uh -huh. Ajá. Is there. Ajá, cabal. Luego sigue. Many countries in the world. Many countries in the world. Ciudades en, en el mundo. O sea, muchas de las ciudades la, la ciudad del mundo. Sí. En muchas en ciudades no, del mundo. Mucho, en muchos países en el mundo. En eh, muchos países. Hay botellas de vías y, y, y propias por todas partes. Entonces, Entonces de la, de la, ¿no? es de la, ¿no? Sí, de la. De la. Ah, en la dos. Oh, oh, ah. Eso es un gran problema, pero Alfredo Santa Cruz, Deportes y a su Argentina tiene, tiene una solución. Oh my God, you should work as a translator. ¿Qué maldición? Tiene una casa de botellas. No, no tiene eh, una, una casa de botellas. La tres es de la, sería de la en la tres. En la tres, ¿verdad? Sí, también sería de la. De la. Todos somos pobres en la casa. Eh, there is. Isin, sería Isin. En la, te, en la mm, cuarta. Yeah, sí, there is. There is. ¿Qué dicen? Porque esta no. ¿A dónde? Un baño normal. Ah, no, no, no. En, una cama no, normal. esta no es. On bedroom tendría que ser primero. Ajá. Ah, Acabamos. sí, en la siguiente. Hay una. Hay una. Hay no, un there is. De baño. Oh. There is. Sí, there is. There is. There is on bedroom. Uh -huh. En la 4 sería de Eris y en la 5 de Eris. En la 5 de Eris. De Eris, sí, va. Sí. De Eris, no. Ah, pero ahí ya aparece un. Sería, ¿Hola? sería de Eris, pero ahí no estamos poniendo dos veces no, porque ponemos. No, no porque entre, no porque para entre, entre, para para entre para 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 indicarnos que es negativa. Sí. Uh -huh. Wow. You know a lot. This group <laughs> is <laughs> very, very organized. Uh, have a lot of ideas. Tenemos de una traductora también. That's impressive. <laughs> 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 <There> are chairs. <laughs> okay. Verá, 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 en la A. En la En la En la En la En Cajas de CD. Está hablando de, de las cajas de CD, entiendo yo. Plásticas. Sí, Ajá. de las cajas plásticas. De la De la porque son, dicen, boxes, cajas. Sí. De la De la De la Who is the one that is talking? Uh, I want to know your name. Plastic. Medley, medley, medley. ¿Quién es la que da todas esas ideas? I want to know your name. What's your name? En esta producción. Todas. Un poquito cada uno. That, that's good. I mean, I'm impressed. I want to say. Well, uh, that's very, very good. All of you are very organized. You know a lot. That's something very good. I really like that. So keep on doing that, okay. guys, okay? Thank you. Thank you.
Sí, el, el, el Ani lo pone él en plural. Sería de A. Sería hay alguna casa como esta en tu país, algo así. Ah. Bien soy yo. De A. Plural entonces. Sí, Ajá, plural. porque una casa es como plural, si pero hay algún. Pregunta, ¿Verdad? Pero pregunta. Ajá. Ajá, ah, pero en pregunta. De A. Pienso yo, no sé. Are there, are there any? Are there, uh -huh. are there any? Vamos con la siguiente. Ok. Vamos a ver. Quiero ver si no veo las imágenes. El primero es... Es Very... true. Sí. Aquí hay un perro. Bueno, hay un perro. Ah, no, no. Mm -hmm. Pero me que no veo bien la imagen. ¿Puedo acercar la verdad? Sí. True. El perro. Aquí está el perro. Ajá, solo uno, ¿eh? Un solo uno. Eh. Entonces sería... Sí, sería... Ah, tener razón. Verdadero. Uh, oh, sería true. Ajá, sería true. Ah. De ahí dice el que box. y hay cuatro bolas. Hay cuatro bolas. Una. Una. Dos. Yo solo veo dos. Solo, yo solo dos veo. Allá, yo los dos veo. Esta que está acá en la, cerca del cap y donde está el niño. Ajá. Del uh -huh. chile. Solo no dos. Falsos. De ahí dice, there is a snake. Y sí, hay una serpiente. Ah, en una no. serpiente. No. O sea, el pasto. Ratones. No, hay no ratones. Hay. Ah. Cinco. Nike. Sería uno, dos, tres, cuatro. There aren't, there aren't many new things. <risa> Aquí probando. <risa> Como para no perderlo. Ay, que cuesta hacer los números. Ay, oh, sí. <risa> Vaya, okay. eh, estamos en la eight. En la night. 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 They are aren't. They Well, so guys, uh, I think that we didn't complete all the exercises, right? Most of you were still working on part number one or still part number two, but we didn't go farther. But we are going to try to, to resolve at least exercise number one. So let me see. The other ones, we are going to try to complete them tomorrow. I know that probably some of you only did exercise number one and probably part of exercise number two, but we still have two of them. So uh, let me see, Juliana Gomez, number one, Maria Luz Nieto, number two, Claudia Janet, number three, uh, Elvis, number four, 
uh, Ana Yancy five, uh, Brenda Elizabeth six. Let me see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Uh, Sheila number seven, Wendy Iliana number eight, Sara Elizabeth number nine, and uh, Ana Maria Lopez number ten. So go ahead, guys. Are there rubbish on the street? Uh, are you sure that is are there? Yes. Why? Yes, because it's plural. Where is, is the... there? It's oh. interrogative. Is there? No, no puede is ser. It... No puede ser. Are there? Porque no tenemos plural. ¿A dónde está el plural? En calles. En calles. Sí, pero calles ya no está cerca no es... de. No, it's not plural. Mm -hmm. In este caso, no. hablamos de rubbish. The rubbish. Rubbish is no, not a plural. Right. So, in this case, is is there rubbish on the streets? All right. Thank you so much, Juliana. Number two. In many countries in the world, uh, there are? There are old bottles. Okay, very good. Thank you. Number three. There are thousands of bottles in this house. There are thousands of bottles in this house. Very good. Yes. Number four. But there is one bedroom. There is one bedroom. Yes, excellent. The next one. But there isn't. There isn't. There isn't a normal bed in it. Very good. The next one. And there are chairs from bottles. There are chairs, very good. Next one. Uh, are not, uh, are there not bottles in the roof and the door? Por qué are there and no there are? No. They are, perdón. There are, okay. There are not bottles or there aren't bottles in the roof and the door. So next one. Uh-huh. Uh, there are, teacher. There are. There are all plastic CD boxes. Yes, there are. The next one. There are not many. Not, there, are not, there aren't many new things in there, Alfredo's house. Correct. There aren't many new things in Alfredo's house. And the last one. There are. There are or are there? Are there? Are there? Are there because it is a question. Are there any houses there. like this in your country? So very good, guys. I see the well, we still have to practice a little bit more, but we're going there, okay? So tomorrow we are going to try to resolve the exercises that we couldn't finish today. And well, I just want to say, guys, please keep working on the platform. If you have questions, again, let me know. If you don't know how to do something, let me know. So thank you so much for coming to the class, guys. It was a pleasure to see you. See you tomorrow by the same channel at the same see time. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.